But it's a sign that the West do it tough. It's been this way for many, many years, but that doesn't mean we don't give a lot of focus. You know, that doesn't mean just to put them in the side of the too hard basket. That means that as a club, we're responsible and we can help. We're giving a rare insight into the journey of four incredible lives. A journey that illustrates the importance of friendship, family and individual strength. When I went in for the first session, I was very much impressed by, you know, the bonding we had, you know, everyone interacting with each other, sharing the experiences. I just didn't want to have my Indian friends. I wanted to go and blend out with fellows out there and, you know, say, got a mate, how are you going and all that stuff, you know, uh, have these mates, you know. Unfortunately, the situation is men have been told all their life that they're, they're really hard to engage with. You know, men don't care about their health. You know, the old head in the sand fallacy has always been around. However, that's completely incorrect. The vehicle of engagement is what's important, and that's where the club felt like it could be a really good fit. What impressed me was the amount of laughter in the room. Laughter is extremely important when you're a 68 old man. The one thing I love about the Sons of the West program is how well we've been accepted by the men. If it wasn't on, we'd probably be just sitting at home, especially in the middle of winter, and doing nothing. You don't need to know a damn thing about football. It's health related. It's about, you know, getting fit, getting active, recommended to any person that I spoke to. The Sons of West is a little bit different because it's, let's create a relationship, let's create some mates, and then we'll try and, and actually rectify some of the issues. Often programs are kind of evaluated by the one person, have they lost weight, have they improved their eating, but you know, with our program we see that it goes much further than that and that's where the ripple effect comes into it. So it inspires me to see men come from the debilitating behaviours and to have freedom in the sense of becoming great leaders in our community. Um, I'm really fortunate to be able to work really closely with the men across um, two sessions and then see them along their journey. Yeah. These blokes have chosen that in a, on a winter's night to come down to a community centre, catch up with other blokes, to talk about their own health and mental health. That's, that's really impressive because blokes don't do that and this program absolutely promotes that and encourages it and that's why it's so good. It doesn't matter about your past or your history or where you've been, it's about where you want to go. And this is where all these guys show such strength.